Hello guys, welcome to the HODL EOS channel where we stay focused on EOS and EOSIO blockchains. If you are new to the channel, my name is Rob. Hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell to join the HODL gang. The best EOS wallet ever? Actually, let me rephrase that. This is not a question. The best EOS wallet ever. The new Anchor wallet from Graymass. And here it is. So in this video, we're going to do a basic overview of the Anchor wallet. And at the end, talk about one key feature that sets this wallet apart from the others that has been a missing piece in the EOS ecosystem. For so let's get into it, starting off on the GitHub page. Anchor version 1.0.0. After over a year in development and nearly six months of beta releases focused on refinement, improvements, and additional research, Anchor has hit a point where we are confident enough to make an official 1.0 release. While we are far from done, this release is the milestone. We will begin encouraging all previous EOS voter users to upgrade and continue from here on out using Anchor. So the Anchor Wallet is the next step in the Graymass Wallet or EOS Voter Wallet that is one of the most popular desktop wallets for EOS and EOS IO chains. And in a future video, I will cover migrating from the EOS Voter Graymass Wallet to the new Anchor Wallet, but that's a dedicated video all for itself, so stay tuned for that. Anchor 1.0.0 is available for Linux, Mac, and Windows. And I'll leave a link to the official GitHub where you can download the latest version of Anchor Wallet. Let's get into the wallet, just take a quick tour through it. And then, like I mentioned earlier, we we're gonna discuss in the one thing that sets this wallet apart, something that really has been missing from the EOS ecosystem. So starting off here on the homepage, just a basic breakdown of the system token EOS you have in your account. Total amount you have, the available amount, the USD price, how much is staked, how much is rexed, how much is delegated, how much is refunding. Just a basic overview. A tokens section. And also in a future video, I will be going through how to add in the airdrop tokens here that you want to track. Resources and governance. So the home section is just a overview of your account in all these different areas next up the wallet section of course you need to input your password to enter the wallet section and just basic wallet functionality transfer tokens EOS and any other EOS tokens you have once you set up which ones you want to track you should all be familiar with a screen like this there's a resources page that breaks down your RAM CPU and net Governance tab, this is where you do all your voting, and the tools section. Now the tools section is very similar to, if not identical to, the tools you see in the Graymass EOS Voter Wallet. But if you want the exact same display as the previous Graymass EOS Voter Wallet, V1 tool interface, there you go. This is exactly how it is in the Graymass EOS Voter Wallet. So as you can see, most of Anchor is very, very similar to the Graymass EOS Voter Wallet. They just spruced it up, made it look really nice, and added some features. Now if we go back to the home page here, over here on the side, easy location to back up your Anchor Wallet. Underneath that, enable or disable EOSIO signing request. So with this turned on, the Anchor Wallet can interact with dApps. Much like how Scatter works, you can do that directly with Anchor Wallet. And I'll just show you an example of what their transaction pop-up looks like. So if we go to Blocks, I'm going to log in, add new account, and connect to Wallet, Anchor Wallet. We want to connect with the Anchor Wallet, input the account we want to connect with, and select the permission. We want to use the active permission. And now send EOS to Rob active is connected via the anchor wallet to blocks.io so let's just do a basic transfer to show the pop-up we receive so when i hit transfer the pop-up from anchor wallet appears and here it is you see which account is sending the request and the actions to perform 
EOSIO token transfer from Sendios to Rob, quantity 0.001 EOS to Sendios to CML. And to sign the transaction and send it, click right there. Transaction submitted with the transaction ID. Now that pretty much covers the basic walkthrough of the Anchor Wallet. If you've used the Graymass EOS Voter Wallet, you can see it's very similar. But there is this one key difference that I've been talking about since the beginning, and that is the introduction of gray mass fuel. So up here you can see this brain looking thing. If you click on that, that is gray mass fuel. Here you can enable, disable gray mass fuel. And what gray mass fuel is, is free CPU and free net for each account. So every Anchor Wallet user gets free transactions using gray mass fuel. And it's five milliseconds a day of CPU. And I believe five KBs of net CPU is what you need to be worried about because you'll run out of CPU long before you run out of net. So you can see I'm at 87% and 96%. And that was with one EOS token transfer using gray mass fuel. So one EOS token transfer took up 13% of the free CPU. That means I still have enough for six, seven more EOS transfers today. That's CPU and net will be covered by gray mass fuel. Having resources be covered directly in wallet is something that I think a lot of you will like. I know there's still people out there that complain. And even with the options, you can get free CPU through blocks, five transactions a day and the EOS Authority wallet also offers free transactions, but this is free transactions built directly into the wallet. So you don't need to connect to blocks. You don't need to connect to the EOS Authority wallet. You can do it directly through the Anchor wallet. Get your free transactions every single day. So there you go, guys. That is the new Graymass Anchor wallet, the next evolution of the Graymass EOS Voter wallet with free transactions via gray mass fuel, EOSIO signing to interact with dApps, and just a beautiful, beautiful interface, all available in the 1.0.0 Anchor Wallet release. Like I said, I do have more videos planned on this, including migrating over from EOS Voter Wallet to the new Anchor Wallet, as well as covering the process of just setting up a new wallet and tasks like enabling tokens. So stay tuned for those. But if you don't need help getting walked through those steps, I'll leave a link in the description to the GitHub page for the Anchor Wallet where you can download for either Linux, Mac, or Windows. It will be a direct link to this page, but always make sure you're on the official Gray Mass GitHub page. And of course, Gray Mass isn't just for the EOS mainnet. It works with every EOSIO chains, including Telos. And if you would like to get a free Telos account that you can plug directly into the Anchor Wallet, check out the link in the description I will have to this page on EOSIO support and visit the Need a Telos Account button. This is where you can get yourself a free Telos account. And if you want to get a Telos account that you can plug in directly to your Anchor Wallet, I would suggest using the Telegram bot option, which can be found, of course, on this page by visiting the Telegram bot link. This will take you directly to the Telegram bot. You just interact with the Telegram bot. You give it a name you want for your Telos account, as well as the public keys you want to use, and it creates the account for you. You can then go and use those keys and import them into the Anchor Wallet for your free Telos account on Anchor. Thanks to the Telos community for their support via the worker proposal system. That's going to do it for me for this one, guys. More Anchor Wallet videos to come. But until then, I will see you in the next one.